Are you happy in this place, Rita? Why, you got something better? Maybe. Oh, really? Like what? Well, what are you doing tonight? What am I doing tonight? Yeah. What's so funny? It only took you 15 years to ask me for a date. Did you think it's a little late? <laughs> really? <laughs> well. Waiter. Can I have a fresh one? Rita. Hmm? Who is your favorite movie star? What is this, some kind of a game? No. Huh? You gonna tell me something about my character, my future wife? Well, you'll see. Tell me. Everybody has a favorite movie star. Well, I better come up with somebody or we'll never get out of here, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, a little test. <laughs> let's see. Marilyn Monroe. Perfect. Talent register, huh? That's her name. She signed this when she was in New York doing her last publicity tour for The Misfits. That was her last movie, you know. Yeah. She wasn't a great actress, but she did have a real gift for comedy. You know, she died tragically alone, like many of the world's most beautiful women. I don't want to see that happening to you. Who's this? Burt Reynolds. Huh? Mel Brooks. He's what you call on funny. Others are just regular. Oh, that's Sid Caesar. He's remarkable. I really like him. He's great. Woody Allen. He's a very nice guy. He's a personal friend of mine. Of course he is. <laughs> no, he is. Oh, that's Ernie Kovacs. He was wonderful. He was a great comedian, a great innovator. That was a great, great loss. Well, I bet some of these are worth money. Oh, yeah. Especially this one. Just hold it. What's this? We'll just take a guess. God, it looks like a retard like this. <laughs> the more scribbled the name, the bigger the fame. That may be true, Rupert, but who is it? R is the first letter. Come on, Rupert, who is it? I'm tired. Well, I'll give you a little hint. Mm. Robert Redden. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no. That's Rupert. Pupkin. Rupert Pupkin. I surprised you, didn't I? <laughs> Take this as a gift. Take good care of that. In a few weeks, everyone is gonna want one. Rupert, you have not changed. Just a couple of hours ago, do you know who I was talking to? Guess. Your shrink? <laughs> That's very funny. No, Jerry Langford. That's right, the Jerry Langford. He gave me the go-ahead, Rita. Would you believe it? And you know what? Don't tell anyone yet, but you're looking at the new <laughs> king of comedy. <laughs> Why not me? Why not? A guy can get anything he wants as long as he pays the price. What's so funny about that? I mean, crazier things have happened. You don't understand what a shot on Langford means. That's coast-to-coast -coast national TV, a bigger audience than the greatest comedians used to play to in a whole lifetime. A shot at a free ticket on the comedy circuit, a comedy show of my own, the Rupert Pupkin show, everything. And all that leads in one direction, Rita. Hollywood, a beach house in Malibu, right on the ocean, and we'll keep a suite at the Sherry. Everybody stays there when they make it big, way up top so we can look down at everybody and yell, hey, tough luck, suckers, and <laughs> better luck next time. Come on, what do you say? It sounds wonderful, Luke, and I wish you the best of luck, you know? But it's getting late, and I'm a working girl. I gotta go home. I, I don't get you. Here I am offering you a way out. Rita, every king needs a queen. I want you to be mine. 